My name is Bertrand Tombal, I'm a urologist from Brussels and I'm, uh, specially, I'm specializing in uh, new hormonal treatment. As this regard, I've been doing a lot of trial with enzalutamide and abirateron and we are here to discuss the result of the crossover of the abirateron versus enzalutamide trial that was presented already one year ago by the team of Vancouver. So you may remember at on the first analysis there was no really much difference between abirateron and enzalutamide. The progression free survival was the same here. The author presented the crossover, meaning receiving abirateron when you had enzalutamide and enzalutamide when you had abirateron. And that's a very interesting poster because actually the conclusion uh, is based on the observation on PSA response. And indeed, if you look at the PSA response rate of patients who have received abirateron and then enzalutamide is much better than those who have initially received enzalutamide and cross over to abirateron where less than 10% had a PSA response. So based on this, I hear many people saying, wow, that's better to start with abirateron and then enzalutamide. I'm not that sure. I mean, actually, uh, as you know, PSA response is just an indicator of the uh, AR pathway activity. It's not necessarily correlated with a hard endpoint. And indeed, uh, if you look at radiographic progression-free survival, it's two to three months for both drugs and there is no difference in overall survival. So, two very important conclusions. The first one is that we can conclude that there is no difference with enzalut between enzalutamide and abirateron. Both drugs are extremely important. But the second, and I believe it's even more important, is that we don't have a lot of rationale to give ABI after ENZA or ENZA after ABI. These drugs are very expensive. Uh, there are other drugs available, and especially chemotherapy. And I think that basically if you give ABI after ENZA or vice versa, you're gonna have a few response, delay the disease by a few months, and you may lose uh, the window of opportunity to give chemo. In addition, you're gonna have the patient or the system to pay for expensive drug without any benefit. So I think that number one message, it's one drug, not two, not three. Know which one should you use? We can play the devil advocate and say that indeed, if there is more PSA response with uh, ENZA after ABID and vice versa, is that maybe it's a more potent AR antagonist. That would be one way of the say. But anyway, one conclusion, start with one of the drugs and don't go, don't give the second one. Things about moving to chemotherapy. Thank you very much.